Alrighty. Three, two, one. Welcome, guys, to another episode of Pokemon Sword and Shield. Sword. <coughs> As you can see, we have a little change to our party members. Of course, we got a uh, lovely, lovely Pokemon. Jeez. Jeez, that's a little bit loud, but yeah. We got a new member to the team. Well, not really a new member, but an old member that evolved in our uh, Toxel into Toxtricity. So yeah, of course, now you guys can see we get everyone up to level 30. And here's our boy Toxtricity. We got the right one. We got the Overdrive. Or, yeah, Overdrive one. So, we got everything we need, and let's now go to Hammerlock. We just came over here to see what was over here. And let's get on our bike, and let's go. Oh, God. So, yeah, we're, we're really close to Hammerlock Hills. We went to train, uh, we got a Buffett, a Pumpkaboo, and Pseudo Widow. We got Unfezant. <coughs> and here we are. So, hopefully we can get to the fourth gym later, which should be Baya. Bay. But, of course, we're going to get over here. Have this guy stop us and say something. Mm. Ah, a gym challenger. Allow me to check your gym badges. The grass badge. The water badge. And the fire badge. It is confirmed that you have defeated the three gym leaders, including the leader of Motor Soak. I wish you the best of luck in your future battles. Oh, it's you. I doubt Hop will be coming. It's only natural. After such a humi humiliating defeat, there's no way he can look the champion in the eye. And I'm sure he'll withdraw from the challenge. Here, just look at the gym badges I've won. Thank you, Challenger BD. I can confirm you have the required badges. Anyway, I have a meeting with the chairman, so I must excuse myself. Again, not so interested in, you know, BD's attitude. BD's a little bit uh, of a jerk here. But yeah, we have an awesome team. Uh, it does not look like there's any raid battles going on, so let's continue our, our journey. Let's see what's over here. Let's see what we can get. We can get Power Gem, Foul Play, Uproar, nothing really good. Yep, so let's go. Make your way through that. I love this little loading screen, it's so cool. Definitely like this game, this game's awesome. And this is by far my favorite. Uh area of this game besides Winden. I love the theme of dragons here. That is such a beautiful dragon. It looks like a dragon with a sword on it. So Welcome guys to Hammerlock City. Hammerlock Town. Mr. Chairman I've been collecting both Wishing Stars and Gym Badges as fast as I can. Good work, Petey. I'm glad you haven't forgotten that it was the Chairman who endorsed you. I have I gather enough Wishing Stars that will help solve the problem that's been bothering you, right, Ch Mr. Chairman? Oh, it's not just about me. It's about the future of the whole Galar region. And we'll need more than just Wishing Stars. We'll need a powerful tr Pokemon trainer too. Someone like the champion. 
With all due respect, sir, I was able to show Hop, one of the champion endorsed trainers, trainers, just how outclassed he was. I'm sure I'll be able to beat, defeat the champion. No, I will defeat the champion. That's the spirit. It takes healthy competition to keep the gym challenge energized. Challenger Beauty, there is something I wish to discuss with you. Do you have a moment? And of course, Chairman Rose will see me. I hope you were listening, Danny. As you know, wishing stars are those mysterious stones that are even attached to your Dynamax pins. There's more to wishing stars than just making your Pokemon into giant stuff. They hold far more energy than that. If you're curious, you should head to the stadium. In fact, we should head right, head inside right away. I'll even give you a little lesson on how the Galar region gets its energy. I mean, sure, I don't mind going and seeing what he wants us to do. Hammerlock Stadium doubles as an energy plant. Now, have a look at my tablet. I've got all the information you need on it. <laughs> See, an easy to understand description of the energy plant. First, energy is in absorbed from Hammerlock Stadium's tower. Then it's changed into electricity in the underground power plant and delivered to people throughout the region. Our lives and society require various types of energy sources such as electricity, natural gas, and water. My associate groups aim to improve everyone's lives by harnessing the power stored in wishing stars. So well, it's time for me to get to work. I should get a move on before Oleana decides to give me another earful. Dang, I suggest you head over to the vault next. Just head toward Route 6 from the stadium and you should find the vault without any issues. Wait, we could talk to the, uh, the actual Pokeball guy. I still find that this is hilarious, just seeing this guy. Hey there, thanks for rolling by to ch have a chat with your mate, the ball guy. It looks like you managed to level up your team quite a bit. Well, guess what? I've got the perfect Pokeball to celebrate the occasion. We got a level ball. Thank you, Pokeball guy. Ow. That actually hurt. Ah. Uh -uh. Oof. You put the level ball in your bag's Pokeball pocket. A Pokeball that makes it easier to catch Pokemon that are at a lower level than your own Pokemon. A level ball is perfect for high level teams. The higher your Pokemon's level is compared to the opposing wild Pokemon, the easier it will be to catch it. Pokeballs are just full of surprises, don't you think? Okay, Mr. Pokeball guy, you kind of creep me out. I, I, I like you, but you scare me at the same time. So let's go walking around and see what we can find. We got a person here. Oh, it's the thing. These guys. Okay. Okay, I don't want to go through all the nonsense here. I know what these people do. But, there's something I really want to check out. Hopefully, Team Yellow's not over here. Oh, yep, they are. Can't you see we're practicing our cheers here? M-A-R-N-I-E. That's how you spell victory. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's how you spell Marnie. Okay, let's see what's in here. What you got? 
That old gent in the Pokemon Center is quite the jack of all trades, don't you think? He can make Pokemon forget moves or even have them remember moves they have forgotten. Yeah, he is. I, I like him. So what is this guy? Well, hello there, young man. Are you interested in weather? Yes, well, is that so? Well, then let me get started. If the sunlight is harsh during battle, Fire type moves will become more powerful while water type moves are weakened. The sunlight will thaw out any frozen Pokemon and they'll be immune to being frozen while they'll let their last two. Moves like that use light, like Solar Beam, can be performed in one turn. The effects of some other moves also get enhanced, like those of growth and synthesis. Certain moves like Thunder or Hurricane become less accurate. Thank you for listening so politely. Please take this. Thank you for the heat rock. I've gone and tired myself out. Come back tomorrow if you're interested. So he gets all... He gives you all the rock. Heat rock, ice rock, and all that nonsense. What is this person? I raise and live with Rickety just because I love them so much. Oh my lord, there's so many crookedies here. Uh, I, I need to get away. That's, that's just too much. People, you don't need to have so many rookities. <laughs> oh, what's over here? Who's this guy? Oh, it's the karate guy. Hiya! They call me Mr. Focus. I'm so focused and super strong. Are you up for a challenge? Not right now. Because I think I know what I want to have here. Yep, yep. Let's go. Hiya! You have good focus. See the power of Mr. Focus. I already know what's going to happen. This is going to be just a molly walk. It's cottony. Or chop it. Its focus man has activated. Ow. Okay, you. Time to pose and jab you. Get this out of here, focus pan. Ah. That is such a horrible thing. You won the battle of focus. You got a level two economy. What are you doing? Ah, uh, yeah, were you a bit surprised? There's so many ways to battle, right? Okay, I'll pass this focus sash on to you because you are so focused. Hey, uh, I'll so a combination of your Pokemon moves and items and direct your focus toward battles. Okay, my dude, you're, you're crazy. <sighs> oh, yeah, I'm tired. Yep, oh, and by tight, there we go. Tight, there we go. We got a lot of stuff to really use. Yeah. Loving having the surf out here. It's Leon. Danny, seems you're doing well collecting gym badges. But ha, huh, did something happen with him? He's acting really weird when I ran into him. He took one look at me and immediately was like, I'm so sorry, Lee. It might be the first time I've heard him apologize for anything, and I have no idea what it was for. Maybe he's feeling down because he had some hard losses in battles. He lost to that challenger, Beatty. When you lose, you feel down in the dumps. But then there's nowhere left to go but back up. You gotta think on why it was. It was you lost, though. You know, that little brother of mine, I think he might yet become a surprisingly great trainer. 
blessed. And look at that time. Nearly forgot my meeting with the chairman. That Oli Hana really lets me hear it when I'm late. Now, if only I could remember which way to go. Anyway, I'd say that you should go say hello to Raihun while you're here, Danny. He's the greatest rival I've ever, I've got in the final hurdle you'll have to face in the gym challenge. He should still be around the vault if you hurry. It's down that way on the way to Route 6. And he runs towards it. Leon, you're... you're, you're Air dingbat, Leon. Yay, hyper potions, heat. Muscle band, yep. And Ryan's right here. Oh, if it's that, oh, if that, if it's that trainer endorsed by the champion. Let's see, what was your name again? Let me look you up. Oh, all right, Danny. And if Leon himself recognized your potential, then I guess you grow into quite the trainer. All the same, though, anyone wanting to challenge the mighty round, Raihan, has to prove they're up to it by earning seven gym bad shoots first. I'm here to, I'm here to view the vault. Ah, so you're here to see our tre treasures, are you? Getting a better understanding of Pokemon by studying history certainly isn't a bad idea. I like your spirit, kid. Follow me, why don't you? I don't want to face you, Rahon. I'm not ready for you. I'll even spare you one of my lead cards. Here you go, kid. Now, on you go. If it's the fault you want, it's up those stairs right there. And away we go. And there's a TM up here. Do 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 do. Charm. Lord. I don't like that move. It's such a horrible move. Oh, there's Sonia. Oh, you're here. Brilliant, aren't they? It's great that there are still treasure trap histories that can tell us of Galar's history. The two youths watching the wishing star. A disaster occurs. The two bewildered youths. The two, the youths looking on at the sword and shield that stopped this disaster. The two youths being crowned. The tapestries tell the story of the creation of a kingdom in Galar. Say, young Jim Challenger, what sticks out to you the most about them? There's two heroes? Bang on! The statue in the motel in Moto only have one hero. No matter how you slice it, but here we have clearly two youths. Was there really one hero, or were there two? And what even caused the darkest day? Thanks for letting me bounce all some ideas off of you. I think I've got some theories now. I'm gonna research the tapestries a tad more, but you have a gym challenge, right? I'm cheering off for you, so take a couple of these. I hope to see more of your wins. Thank you, Sonia. You're awesome. Oh my lord, we're even so tired. Sorry guys, I'm yawning so much. I, I just got back from work about two hours ago, so... Or an hour ago, so I'm still sleepy. 
The tapestries in the vault depict the heroes of the Galar's region's past. I suppose if we got any modern hero, it would have to be our champion Leon. Listen up, Danny. Your goal is to defeat the superstar Leon. So go conquer Route 6 and train yourself up along the way to stow inside. Yep, we're gonna do it. Who's this? Uh... Alright, two, route six. <coughs> this is gonna be one of the uh, ones that really get me. It's a silly cobra. What a cute, silly cobra. Just look at those adorable eyes. It's our duty as Team Yell to make sure Silly Cobra gets a nice peaceful sleep. Oh dear, hello there. If I promise not to wake the Pokemon, will you let me through? Of course, it'll be our pleasure. I feel like Team Yell is just here to wreak havoc. Oh hey Danny, you're heading off? You're heading to the stone side, right? Oi, Team Yell, don't suppose you'll let us through. Nah, you kids are way too loud. Can't be letting you through. And we're particularly not fond of kids wearing the challenge band. With all your stomping around, silly cow, we're still sure to wake up. Right. What do you say, Danny? If we don't get past them, we won't be able to continue our gym challenge at Stone Side. I'll battle you. Yeah, that's the spirit. You two, you two are way too noisy. You don't want to wake up Silly Cobra now, do you? I swear to these kids these days. Well, we got no choice. We'll just have to send you packing. It's all for the sake of the Silly Cobra. Send out the stunky. Hmm. Surfresh, let's do it. No, don't poison me. You suck. I don't like being poisoned. How dare you! I'm not protecting myself, so you can, you can shove it, Stunky. You can shove it up your butt. Because I ain't a fan. Who are you going to send out next? Mm -hmm. You're gonna send out a Lanoon. Good choices, bird. Good choices. You turn on it. Take 10, not very much damage. Good job, you're setting up. <sighs> but the problem is you're not living, so get that out of here. Blind, even your battles are noisy too.
think I'll leave this up to you, Danny. Keep up the pace. A leopard. Still poison too. Gosh. I may heal up. Do I have a? It's gonna use fake out. Nice critical hit. You're not winning, my dude. Oh yeah, it's gonna happen the first mat, first one. Okay, moon to heal up again. <coughs> I don't like your leapert. I absolutely hate leapert. Such an annoying Pokemon. Wire pulse it. I hate you. Stop using Fury Swipes. Lame Pokemon. It's not like I like Drizzile more. I just think... Drizzile is better at this point. Ow, stop! Okay, we're gonna hit a boost because of Torrent. Goodbye, Leapert. You suck. Just how I went to level 31. Cool. Ugh, why'd you... Why you have to be such a bother? I don't know what these voices are. They're just horrible. Silly Cobra might wake up after all that work is... Then there's no point in us sticking around. Let's get out of here. We'll make these bars some kids holler some other day. Okay, you and Sir Fetch were brilliant together. See, BD really wiped the floor with me the last time we battled. And don't get me wrong, I can take a loss. Fouling means you got to lose sometimes. But you said that I was dragging Lee's good name through the mud, being so rubbish like I was. And I can't just get those words out of my head. If I'm weak, then people will think Lee's weak too. But I don't want that. I can't let Lee dr get dragged down. He's the unbeatable champion. I'm going to have to take some time figuring this out. See you around, Danny. <laughs> and then Silly Cobra wakes up. Hey, hey, who are you? What are you doing here? I'm gonna go home. Damn trainers waking me up. You're one of the gym challengers endorsed by Leon, aren't you? My name's Elbow. If you want to know more, have a look at my league card. I'll keep an eye on you, child. I want to see what you can do when you go all out. <sighs> I feel so bad for her. She's almost 80 years old still doing this. This is ridiculous, man. Okay, it's healing time. Yep, let's go. <coughs> Alright, let's see. <sighs> 
but super cute Pokemon's interested in your Pokemon. So, I think we're just gonna try to get halfway through this route, and then, uh, we'll be gone. Let's see what we got here. Poison jab's good enough. Goodbye, Clefairy. You're gone. <laughs> You've been blown to the moon. Let's see toxicity. Metronoming Clefable. You use Taunt of all the moves. You didn't use Finish Shock. You're done. Does times two of your poison. Get the heck out of here. Alright, we're 31 for everyone, including Charmeleon. Your Pokemon are way too strong. You'll be safe no matter where you go. Yes, ma'am. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Oh, there's a Yamask. Valerian Yamask. Hmm. I don't want to kill it, but I guess I'll go with first impression. It's not very effective. Critical hit. Wandering spirit. Okay. I don't think you want that though, but crafty shield. Oh, there you go. You got poison. Not very strong. The great ball to catch this boy. Up, oh, almost. I do want to catch this, but yep. Ah, uh, you're gonna die, you mess. It's it's over, man. It's dead. It's almost dead. Come on, you ass. Don't do this. Nope. Yeah, ass does not want to come. Thank you for giving me set fast again. You're silly, you ass, but that's okay. Alright, I have a ghost type that I like. So it really doesn't matter to me. Wondering if that's an axe you that I see. Yep, yes it is. Oh, we got another one. Uh. 
Yep, you're not getting me with that, boy. Come on, mess, get captured. Come on, don't do this. Oh, come on, you mask. Damn it. Come on, dude. Don't kill me. Just lame, dude. Just lame. <coughs> I'm not proud of that. Yeah. That's just annoying. Oh, hell no. Hell, you these people. I'm gonna have to battle all these people. Oh no, I think there's someone right, right here under your right. Yep, there is. Nope, sorry. I know there's a lot of places that are to battle, but I want to keep this decently. In like the 37 to 40 range. I don't know, it's the clay mint. Pokemon is our two if we both give it our all. He's got a great ball, a coughing. I do not like coughing. Coughing's really annoying in this game. <sighs> There's smog. I don't have any set changes that have happened, so coughing, you're doing nothing. Really good right now. Really, nothing has happened. There's no stat changes that have happened at all. Yeah, I know who we should use. So the unfortunate thing is our Drapey doesn't evolve until level 55, so it's going to be very interesting to keep Drapey on the team even though it's not going to evolve until level 55. Sudo Wudo, good lord. Yeah, no, sorry Sudo Wudo, that's not happening. Get out of here. Get out of here with your rock sliding son of a gun butt. Alright, we are almost done with this episode.
Your moves were beautiful. Oh my, I'm completely fascinated by them. His eyes when you first battle him is ridiculous. He's creepy. Let me out of this place, my dude. And of course, we have made it to so inside. Pops oh, right there. I think we have to face hop, but I don't want to face hop yet. I mean, we could. Let's heal our Pokemon. <sighs> Actually, we could face Hop. I don't think that's a bad idea. We could beat Hop. <coughs> and get our gym badges. In the next episode, but yeah. Dang. I'm still not too sure what I should do all about the stuff I told you before. About me being weak and dragging Lee's good name and all, yeah? But the only thing I can do is get stronger, yeah, right? So I'm going to try out all kinds of different things against you and see what works. You're on. Let's do this. I've been an all-out battle with my true rival will help me get my head on straight. Let's see what you got, buddy. Cramorant. Okay. Interesting starting Pokemon. All I'm after is victory, and I'm coming, counting on you to do, partner. Okay, Pokemon. Yeah, duh. Toxtricity! Fuck. Who wouldn't aim for a super hit, effective hit if they could, if they wanted to, right? Okay, who are you sending out now? So I'm yelling these level 32 toxtricities, level 32, we're gonna keep old moves. Surfetch level 32. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we can use Drizzile. Silly Cobra's cool. <coughs> I just don't want to use it in this in this series so he kind of talks all too interesting the baby toxel Could use a uh, ponytail to battle him. That's all good. <coughs> I'm just not gonna interrupt his speech. Oh, he's got a little 33 Raboot. Raboot's gonna be faster. Funny how the beginning stage stage Sava was faster than Reboot, and then uh, Score Bunny, and then in the second stages Reboot's faster than the sa than Drizzile, but when they evolve, 
Inteleon's one point faster than uh, Cinderace. It's really interesting. My strategy goes right to pot when I've got all these bad thoughts running through my head. It's all good. It's all good. Hop, you got this. Hmm. I tried switching my team members in and out to max out the potential in every matchup, but we just couldn't get it together somehow. Maybe that's why I'm so, so weak. But Lee really is the greatest trainer. And I don't want people to be laughing at him all because his little brother is rubbish. It's not enough. I gotta try harder and harder and harder until no one's laughing. I'm off me. I have to find the kind of Pokemon that I can really draw the strength out of. You got this, Lee. Uh, you got this, Hop. That child. Gym challengers should battle for the sake of their own Pokemon. Why would worry about saving the champion's old name? We all know he's undefeatable. Anyway, here's something for letting me watch your battle. We got base Lee card. Now on your go, child. You're headed to the Stone Side Gym next, no? The gym challenge is about having fun. It just cringes me watching her walk up the stairs like, good lord. 80 year old woman, stole a gym, gym leader. So, I'm gonna wrap it up this, this time. We're gonna heal up, but we're gonna end this episode right now. Thank you guys for joining. This was episode 7 of our lovely Let's Play series. And next Monday, we should have episode 8. So, thank you guys for joining. Have a good day, and peace.